In this section, we discuss the concept of rolling motion. Consider the rotating tires of a car undergoing a linear displacement. There must be a relationship between the angular motion of the tires and the linear motion of the car. The discussion that follows depends on the assumption that the wheels of the car undergo rolling motion. In physics, the term rolling motion implies that there is no slipping between the object and the surface on which it rolls. Let's look closely at the motion of one of the wheels assuming ideal rolling motion conditions. The wheel has a radius r and initially makes contact with the road at point A. Point B is located at some arbitrary point on the outer edge or rim of the tire some distance s along its perimeter. The tire then rotates without slipping until point B makes contact with the road. It is clear that the distance d that the center of the tire or the axle moves is the distance ab which is the same as the distance s. Therefore d equals s. If the angle between a and b is theta, then s is the arc length r theta. Therefore, the linear displacement of the center of the tire, and therefore of the car, along the road is equal to the arc length. The average linear speed of the axle is the displacement d divided by the time t, or v equals d divided by t, which equals s divided by t. Since s is equal to r times theta, this equals r times theta divided by t, which equals r times omega, since theta over t is equal to the angular velocity omega. But r omega equals the tangential speed vt, the linear speed of the outer edge of the tire. Therefore, the linear speed of the axle is equal to the tangential speed of the outer edge of the tire. Now, what if the car is accelerating? The linear acceleration a of the axle, which is the acceleration of the car, is a equals delta v divided by delta t. With v equal r times omega, this becomes a equals r times delta omega divided by delta t, which equals r times alpha, the angular acceleration, which is equal to a times t, or the tangential acceleration. Therefore, the linear acceleration of the axle, a, is equal to the tangential acceleration of the outer edge of the tire, 